Hello friends, if you are working in design engineering domain, GDNT is a very important skill you should learn. My name is Kevin Kutto and in this video I am going to answer some of the questions related to GDNT introduction. So what is GDNT? What are other dimensioning systems apart from GDNT? Why should we use GDNT? What are the standards related to GDNT? And how small companies should decide whether they want to adopt this standard or not? All these answers I am going to give through this video. And yes, if you are not done yet, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Your subscriptions, likes, shares and comments help me to reach out to the larger audience on YouTube and add value to their career through my YouTube channel. So let's begin with our topic. What is GDNT? GDNT stands for Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing. It's an internationally recognized language for drawings to accurately describe a part or component. Now, what does it consist of? It consists of symbols, rules, definitions, and conventions. Now, conventions are widely used best practices. It also a mathematical language. A mathematical language to describe size, form, location, and orientation of the feature of the part. It also a called as a design philosophy. Now, why it is called design philosophy? Because it guides us on how to design and dimension the parts. So, what are the standards used for GDNT? The first standard used is ASME Y 14.5 M 2018. What does it mean? ASME stands for American Society for Mechanical Engineers. Y 14.5 is the standard number. M is the metric system. And 2018 is the latest revision of this standard but is this the only standard which is available for GDNT no there is other standard which is given to us by ISO that is international standards organization now there is very little difference between these two standards so 90% of the content is almost same only 10% differences so is there any other dimensioning system available apart from geometric dimensioning and tolerancing system Yes, this is the oldest method, coordinate tolerancing system. It is used for 150 years now. So what this system has? It's a dimensional system where part feature is defined by means of rectangular dimensions and plus their tolerances. For example, in this, uh, you can see that 25 has plus minus 0.5, 20 has plus minus 0.5. That's how we get the location of the hole. So tolerance zone B gate is a square one because both these tolerances are equal. If these tolerances are not equal, then we get rectangular tolerance zone. Now this system is very simple. Any person who knows how to read the numbers can read this drawing. Then what was the need to go for geometric dimensioning and tolerancing system or GDMT? Obviously there are some drawbacks in the current system. That's why we have to go to the new system, right? So let's study what are these drawbacks are first drawback is in the tolerance zone itself so we know that in coordinate tolerancing system we have a rectangular square tolerance zone while as in gtnt we have a circular or cylindrical tolerance zone so how does it matter what difference it's going to make let's see with the example so this is for a coordinate tolerancing system so we know that uh, rectangular tolerance zone so that means if my part falls out of this it will be rejected now, if you see carefully, diagonally the distance is 1.41, while vertical and horizontal distance is 1. So, what does it mean? It means that my part is somewhere here, it will be accepted, but if it is vertically at the same distance, it will be rejected. So, it is not making sense. That means my functionally acceptable parts will be also rejected into the coordinate tolerancing system. So, instead of rectangular tolerance zone, GDNT provides a position tolerance with the cylindrical tolerance zone so what is the advantage of it we get 57 percent additional tolerance zone into this that means the part which are going to fall here they will be all accepted that means lot of functional parts which were good parts which would have rejected in my previous system are now accepted that way my cost of production will come down drastically the second disadvantage of that system is a fixed size tolerance zone in coordinate tolerancing system. So what does it mean? 
let's see through the example so this this was my hole right 8 plus minus 0.2 and i know that center a uh, center of this hole was a square tolerance zone so if you look at if you look at the hole it will have two limits 8.2 and 7.8 and we know that what is the worst case for assembly in the hole when hole will be at the lower limit so that is the that is the worst case for assembly so 7.8 is the worst case for assembly right that's where we can't do anything our tolerance is locked there but as we move from here upward that means our hole becomes larger and larger we get additional tolerance which we can use for location right but we can't do that in coordinate tolerancing system because there is no such methodology into this but same thing which could be achieved into a geometric dimensional system so we have a concept of bonus tolerance that and zero tolerance at maximum material condition so with these two concepts we can achieve uh, the same fit that means we can convert these tolerance extra tolerance which are we are, we are getting into a location tolerance that way our cost of production will further reduce into a gdnt the third problem is the ambiguity in instructions for inspection for example if you take this part this part could be measured in two ways the first way is like this second way is like this now for the, the part which was looking perfect now is looking imperfect because we are assuming that it has a lot of irregularities so i'm a little bit exaggerating to just to show that right so this could be measured in two ways and when we, you are measuring in two ways you are definitely going to get two different results for the same dimension right so how to solve this problem gdnt solve this problem with the introduction of concept called a datum so in gdnt we have the datum primary secondary tertiary datums we have datum targets and they help us to understand how should i locate my part before i inspect it so in spite of having lot of advantages into gdnt still there are some questions needs to be answered especially for the small companies the first one is investments in measuring instruments is very high so initial investments is required in gdnt and it is a different language so you definitely need people who understand this language so you need specialized talent that means your cost is going to go higher and if you are adopting this standard for your company that means you have to train your employees so training cost will be also higher so the question is is such an investment worth enough for small workshops or small companies right so the answer we can find out with the business case now what is business case we know that cost on a vertical axis time on a x axis and uh, we know the investments required with the time but this will save us a lot of cost and our profitability will increase so our cost or investments will be recovered so you have to really run the business case and your future plans and then you have to decide whether you want to adopt this system or not so there are two factors which are really very important the return on investments and your customers need now this is a bonus slide you know that asme has released latest standard of 2018 so i just wanted to show you how this standard is different than 2009 standard so you might have seen this chart and yes we we have two symbols removed or less in 2018 standard so you might be wondering why they removed these two symbols so what happened there so the answer i'm going to give in this slide right the first one is there were multiple symbols which were doing the same purpose for example concentricity was used to define a location and orientation but the same location and orientation could be defined using tolerance of position in fact by total runout if part is circular total runout would also define a form tolerance apart from location and orientation so that's why these two symbols were doing the same purpose there was very minimum difference in the cost that's why they decided to remove concentricity the same thing with symmetry also and that's why they have removed concentricity and symmetry in this latest standard and made your life simpler thank you very much for watching this video you can contact me at kevinkutto@gmail.com